Good mor- <clears throat> Wait, I'm not Brian Basham. I'm Jonathan Woods, the marketing director here at World Watch. And this just in, coming soon to a screen near you, yes, the one you're using right now, find a serious discount on Black Friday. Keep your eyes peeled for more details. That's it. On with the show. Good morning. It's Tuesday, November 24th on today's full version of World Watch. Over at worldwatch.news, learn about a group who's fishing for garbage in a South African river. And afraid of burning that Thanksgiving Day turkey? Well, turns out you can insure it. Now, here's Top Story. I understand um, the risks that I'm taking, but um, I, I want to see my family. More and more Americans are taking that risk, despite government warnings not to. Over the weekend, air travel reached its highest point versus last year since plummeting in the spring due to COVID-19. Air travel is still less than half of last year's capacity, but despite rising COVID hospitalizations, Americans would rather fly than Zoom for Thanksgiving. Needed to get away, needed to just kind of get back to a little bit of normalcy for us. It's a matter of staying safe and wearing your mask, keeping your distance. You know, people have to live their lives. American highways will be even more congested, with traffic estimated to be down only 10% versus last Thanksgiving. Some are openly defying new COVID curfews, like this protest in California. One restaurant owner says with the government banning not only indoor but outdoor dining, the workers he just rehired, he'll have to let go again. This influx is just, it's, it's about to break us all. And thanks for watching, everybody. I'm the Big Bash. Remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand. We'll see you tomorrow.